it's very much similar to like virtual reality kind of through your phone because as you move you can see around the world in like a like a panoramic view wow whoa there's a whole little world behind there the uh the camera tracks you and all that that's Cool. Ion is not just a video game. It allows you to see into your subconscious. It's kind of me, but it's not me. And it really got me thinking about how I see myself as a hero. And I found the storyline very engaging with the that big epic moment of riding the beast. And then we're, you know, up on the, the walls. And Neil did a great job uh, establishing a mood and a rhythm with the storyline and the dialogue. I got to enact the fantasy. I got to visualize um, myself. It got me a little emotional. I got a little teary-eyed because so be able to imagine myself in that situation where my mother like admires me so much and just making everybody proud. The, uh, the engagement and the feeling of being immersed in the world was really great. I was in this space. And it made me feel like I was truly like a part of it, unlike any other game experience. It's also a very personalized experience, which is slightly creepy, but super duper fun. Did this thing just say my high school? Oh, how did I know my best friend's name? What in the world? Yes, she would, she would be surprised. How the fuck did he know that? How did he know what I did for a living though? How do you know that? <laughs> It knows my goldfish is name. So mentioning a few things about my career. It's very wacky that you knew that. A little, little freaked out here again. I love the illustration and animation style that fit with the gothic storyline. A very stylistic feel to it. I really like the, um, the artwork when we get into the story. Oh, it's so beautifully detailed too. It's like there's a whole other world. Sometimes startling. Oh, he looked right at me. That's crazy. It was entertaining. Very immersive. It was an insane experience. 